Okay, guys. Come here. Mom, we did it in the school. I did the math thing. Oh, did you? Yeah, Can we please go to it? Yeah, it's tonight. Yeah, and we don't, don't got no. Yeah, Kalia, say bye. <laughs> bye bye, Serene. And then, Mom, we don't got no homework. You don't have any homework? Yeah, we don't have any homework. You want me to give your friend this ladle? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, we are in the store uh, looking for some. Uh, chili things because I'm making chili so I came in here to get chili ingredients I didn't know I was making that to like later on and the kids left me oh here we are right here some chili crackers hey guys it, it has, it has peppermint bark so it's the cream is peppermint flavor Ew. peppermint it's bark that's nice gross yeah. Yep, we came straight from the school. We walked today, so this store is like kind of expensive, but it's close by the house, so we stopped here. And we are walking, right guys? Get some good old exercise. It's warm out today. It's not as cold. But we're trying to look for the Kalia, get down, baby. This is all beautiful, Look at all these leaves. Yeah. Leaves. It's a mess out here. Leaves. But it don't do if us no good to clean, clean it, it up because it's going to come oh. right back. Yeah. So, like, oh, well, guys. I'm not doing it again. Me either. Me neither. We made it back home. Finally. And Miss Kalia here is uh, playing with her Play-Doh that she got from her friend. <laughs> her friend stopped her and gave her some Play-Doh. I'm like, oh, that was so cute. Is that your, your bestie? Aww. Your first best. Well, no. Can't say your first bestie. Who was your first best friend? Let's see if you remember. Oh, I remember. No, who was your first best friend that you've been friends with since you were a baby? She probably watching this, so. You better say, who's your first, your very first best friend? B. No. No, it starts with a B, because we don't call her her full name. Hmm. Becca. Bella. You forgot Rebecca. Becca? No, Bella. Rebecca. We got to schedule a play date so you can play with <laughs> Becca, because you don't even remember her. Well, Why don't you say Becca. hi? Say hi, Becca. Hi, Becca. Hi, Becca, if you're watching. Well, her mommy watches, so I'm sure she probably watches too. <laughs> Wait, you told me. I'm just kidding. It's close to the end of the day. So, what happened? Oh, it's so dark to work this way. So there was this incident. Why don't you go the other way because it's so dark? Okay, there was this incident. We were just lining up, getting ready to go do our little math activity in the cafeteria. And all of a sudden, we hear the fire alarm. I did that. I did that. I did that. Shh. And then we hear the fire alarm. Everybody goes crazy. And then we all just start running towards the um, blacktop. And then we find out that there's a fire in the kitchen. But it was a minor one because it was actually cooking food. And um, so it lit on fire. And then three fire trucks came. A police car came. And they just put it out. And then we got to do our little math activity in there. So, but we only got a little bit of time because we was out on the blacktop for about 15 minutes because they had to put out, put it out and stuff. But nothing happened. Like the building didn't burn down. It didn't catch everything. Just the um, stove. But yeah. Oh wow, that was horrible. 
So they had a little fire at school, nothing major, but a little minor fire. It's still scary though. Because at, at first, me and Leilani, we saw oh, some little kids running from the cafeteria because we thought that they pulled the little fire switch thing. And then we're like, why would they do that? It's not prank time. And then our teacher tells us that there's a fire in the kitchen. And then we're like, oh, so it wasn't the little kids who pulled it. They just ran out and went in a line. Like in a line close to some random classrooms. Mm, okay, well, I'm glad everybody was safe and everybody Ooh, Kalia got Linda. They got it under control. Yeah, Kalia, got Kalia go put it back to after dinner, okay? Please. Hello, guys. Uh, this is a whole different day, but uh, I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know that I did not forget about the Q&A. Um, I actually have the questions here, and I'm going to be answering them right now. Um, Surprisingly, I didn't get a whole lot of questions, but I am definitely happy to answer the ones that I got. So let me just get right into this. Um, the first question was from Mama Virginia, and the question was, are you guys planning to move in the future? And uh, if we're moving closer to family? And uh, the answer to that is, yes, we are. We don't know when, uh, we don't know where, because we kind of have family spread it out everywhere, but we do know that we are uh, planning on moving only because we feel like the kids don't get enough time to be with family because we're pretty much here, you know, just us. And uh, we want them to be able to grow up with their cousins and their, you know, close family members. So, yes, we do plan on moving uh, in the future. I would say about another maybe year or two. Okay, moving right on to the second question, which was from uh, Naomi and Mommy. Uh, and that question was, do you see yourself as a full-time YouTuber? And uh, right now, I'm really not sure. I'm kind of just having fun with it right now and looking at it as like a hobby, something fun to do that me and the kids like doing. But I mean, if it grows and, you know, it gets better, then, you know, I'll take it for what it is. So I guess we'll just have to see where it goes. Okay, now I'm moving on to the uh, last three questions, which are from uh, Jasmine Davis. Her first question was, do you plan on having more kids? Girl, mm-mm. Nope, uh, no more kids. Actually, uh, right after Khalil was born, I had my tubes tied. Uh, I get really ill during pregnancy and I didn't really want to have to go through that. I will have a story time later, you know, uh, later down the line. I will do a story time on uh, that whole situation. And I will let you guys know more about that situation, but no more kids. And her second question was, how old, uh, how old are your kids? Uh, my oldest, Michaela, just turned 12. She just had a birthday, January. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about the next one's birthday. She just had a birthday, November 15th. And my little one, Kalia, is five. She'll be six, January 2nd. And my little boy, David, is eight. And he'll be nine on um, April 14th. So I have a 12-year-old, a five-year-old, an eight-year-old right now. Okay, and her last question was, how old were you when you became a mom? You trying to figure out my age? <laughs> I don't mind telling you. Okay, um, I was 24 years old when I became a mom. So you do the math. My oldest is 12, and I was 24 when I became a mom. So there you go. Okay, guys, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this short little Q&A and um, hope it was, you know, good information for you guys. And I will be doing more Q&As uh, in the future. So, you know, I'll let you guys know when the next one will be. And hopefully I will get more questions because I really want you guys to get to know me and I want to get to know you guys. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Actually, that first part was just like lost footage. And since the Q&A was going to be so short, I wanted to add something else in there. So I hope you guys enjoy that short uh, footage too. And if you're not already subscribed and you like what you see and you've been checking out my channel, go ahead and join the family, subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next vlog.
Bye, guys.